but this is gives you a, just a, a bird's eye view of you know Jesus's life. He's born around four or five BC, crucified thirty or thirty three A.D. We already get these creedal and and creedal traditions and hymns within five to ten years. Within twenty years, we have Paul's early letters, and then within thirty years to sixty years, we have all four gospels. And so the, these capture the um, the key sources and the key um, writings that, that that talk about Jesus. And this is just a fun one. The, the we talked about how Jesus's biography is uh, uh, the gospels are like ancient biographies. Well, it's fun to compare Jesus to other you know, famous figures that are still influential today and look at when were, where were their biographies, you know, when were they written? And if you look, if you compare Jesus to, to uh, other ancient heroes, other ancient founders of religion, <clears throat> his biography is like a newsflash in the ancient world. It's an incredible thing. I mean, it's, it's just laughable when you look at people like Zoroaster and Buddha and even Alexander the Great and Confucius. I mean, we're talking from 1,000 years to 600 years to 400 years to 300 years after these people lived were their biographies written. And, that, and that's not even to mention when the manuscripts actually finally show up. And Maha, even Muhammad, the, the first biography of Muhammad is, doesn't show up until over 135 years later. And this one guy, Apollonius of Tiana, someone, this, this philosopher that lived at the end of the first century, uh, people compare him to Jesus. Well. The biography we have of him, again, is not until long after he lived, 120 to 130 years. And most likely what was written in that biography was meant to, to was basically plagiarism of, of Jesus. So with Jesus, we have biographies written within 25 to 60 years of his life. That's unparalleled. That's unparalleled. That's the thing you won't, you won't hear on the uh, History Channel story, Search for Jesus. <laughs> but that's just the facts because it's, it's just amazing when you compare Jesus to everyone else.